All right. We've got three mask packs here. We've got this bad boy that just came in. I've got three more mask packs with my favorite colored eyes that I'm on the fence about opening. I've also got this friend right here and a unopened Krata collectible container. And I'm going to open at least these four plus this. Let's start with this little trans Krata. I've been very excited about this friend. He looks like a little gummy. If he were a gummy, he would be very yummy, but he's not. Let's put him with the rest of my Krata. Yeah, I'm just flexing. Um, so he'll go over here. All right. Which to open first? I'm thinking probably first will be this one because it's likely to be, be the most underwhelming. It's got two colored Kanoe Nuva and three Krana. Call? No, just three Krana. So we'll see what's in here. I am missing two Nuva masks at time of recording. So between these two Nuva packs, maybe I'll get them. Who knows? All right, here we go. We've got a blue Pukari Nuva, a blue Cow Cow Nuva, of course, a black Krana Yo, a purple Krana, uh, oh my god, what is it called? I'm literally checking. Jaw. It is a Krana Jaw. And I think this is the lighter purple, the European variant, it looks like. And finally, a blue za or yeah which i was missing for a while but i think i got recently so those will be extras so overall not too bad this blue cow cow is obviously a massive disappointment um because that is the default color so i've already got like probably five of those okay Next, let's do this. Now, what's exciting about this is it's the European version, which means that it may contain the Euro European misprints of several masks, or three different masks uh, in several colors. So let's open it and find out. Okay. We've got a brown Miru and a green Picari. So no European misprints. Some nice pieces though. We've got the headpiece with a dark green, trans dark green stock and two black 3X axles, which 3L axles which are quite nice. I like having lots of them in black, so no complaints from me. All right. Well, this one may contain the prodermic masks, which go for about 200 right now on the market, 200 CAD each. Um, it is not a high probability, but it is a significant enough probability that's exciting. 
it's probably a one in seven because the masks can come in the six default colors or in the protodermic silver. And then there are also three chronicol. All right. We have a winner. Silver Akaku Nuva. Now that is very exciting. This is going to go in my display cabinet. That's fantastic. There's also a black Kakama Nuva. And then three Chronicol. A metallic green bow. A pearl very light gray Ka. And a flat dark gold Ka. Oh, that is a win. That is a massive win. And I haven't even opened the other ones yet. All right, this right here is probably at least 150 CAD. It's fantastic. Every time I say CAD, I just think Control-Alt-Delete, and that is something that I wish I could Control-Alt-Delete from my mind. But, oh well. All right. So that's fantastic. All right, now crawl to container. This looks like there's more than three, which I have been led to believe that there's not that many, that there's three in here. So let's open it up. It's actually tougher than expected. Nope, it's three and one sticker. Got the Takanuva sticker. And then a stage two lime slash yellow, a stage one black slash orange, and a stage three red slash blue. Let's see if I have these already. I've got my handy chart here. Um, so... The red slash blue, that is a new one. Accuracy, stage three. The black slash orange is a duplicate. That is heat vision. And the stage two lime slash yellow is new. Elasticity, stage two. All right. Yeah, the chart. It's pretty exciting. There's a lot to go yet. I think I have the number. So I have 95, now 97 um, of 259. So I'm a third of the way there. And let's get this mask chart. I can now cross off Pearl Gray Akaku Nuva. Come on, pen. You can do it. This pen is dying. All right. Fantastic. Uh, that is good. OK. Now, the debate is whether to open these three. And because I want to keep them sealed, but also there is a chance of another protodermic mask, and there's a chance of European misprints. So while I decide, I'm going to open this. Uh, uh, no, it's got a tear thing. Much more convenient than the old ones. Cardboard thing. Here's the parts. Some more cardboard. And there's the big triangle, or hexagon. It's folded into triangles. That's quite beautiful. It's got all six toa. It's quite nice. All right, and the golden mask. That's exciting. 
that is one step closer to completing my G2 collection. I believe I'm missing the five summer sets from 2016. And once I have those, I will have a full G2 mask collection. Missing nothing, not even the blue mask of water. <laughs> I'm a bit infamous for having those. It's quite nice. It's a nice mask. Always like pearl gold. All right. And that can go over there. Okay, so I'm going to... I've made my decision. I am going to open them, but first I'm going to cop a feel. See if I can tell what's in them. These Nuva masks are so big, it's really hard to tell. Oh, I think there's a Picari in here. Or, no, sorry, a uh, Kakama. Did I say Kakama earlier when I said this one? Because that's Kakama. I feel like I might have said Picari by accident. But that feels like a Kakama. And the other mask can't tell. It could be a cow cow. Oh, I think it is a cow cow. Yeah. So let's, fingers crossed for a silver for either of those. This one I'm not going to try and feel for. This one, this one's very special to me. I don't know why. It just is. Look at those golden eyes. Light has always been my favorite element. So... That feels like a Kumau. And that feels like... I don't know what that is. A Huna, maybe? No, it's not a Huna. We'll see. All right. Time to open. Let's start with in the same order. Let's go. Black cow cow. A green cow cow. So we're getting lots of cow cows today. And three krana. We got a lime jaw. A yellow zai. Just traded this to a friend recently. And a light purple ka. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Next up. Possible European misprints, but I doubt it based on what I was able to feel. Yep. No European misprints, unfortunately. We've got a lime kamo and a green kakama. And the eye stock is yellow. All right. That opened quite nicely. I think I'm going to frame yellow ones because I like those a lot. And it'll just be a nice memory. All right, let's hope this opens well and gives me another protodermic mask. But I am already very grateful to have what I've gotten. All right. Okay. A white Picari Nuva. It's in quite good shape, as you'd expect. And yeah. There we go. I am halfway done collecting my protodermic masks. That is a huge relief. Now I just need the Hau, the Picari, and the Kakama. And I've got a trade going for the Picari and the Hau. Let's look at the Chronic quick. Uh, flat Dark Gold Yo. 
pearl dark gray bow and another pearl very light gray caw. So I'll have triples of that. Yes, I got two of the silver ones. Here they are. These are both worth a huge amount of money. Uh, and I wasn't looking forward to having to eventually cough up that cash to get them. Um, so it's a huge relief to get these two. Because they're about 150 Canadian each. If you get them uh, on a good day on Bricklink. You can get them occasionally in uh, bulk lots, but that's they're hard to find that way. And usually will come in big lots that are quite expensive. All right. Now, it is time to add some masks and a crota into my display cabinet. Ignore the mess. All right. So this guy is going to go up here. So he's with the Crocons. And then I have. I believe I was going to put the Akaku here and the Kao Kao here. I'm feeling quite happy with this. That was quite successful. Two protodermic masks. A bunch of duplicates that I can put on my Bricklink shop or trade. And yeah, I even got a Takanuba sticker, so let's fucking go. Uh, the Nuva packs, uh, each of the packs um, for the Nuva ones, the Call ones, and the classic Kanoe ones from 2001, each of them I paid 15 euro per pack. So that's a pretty good price <laughs> considering what I've gotten in them. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, let's put that display cabinet back. Yeah. So I feel quite satisfied with my purchase there. line up everything I got besides the really rare stuff. Not a bad haul, all things considered. Definitely not a bad haul. I've been waiting for this to arrive for nearly a month. I was getting a little bit worried that it wouldn't actually arrive because you never know with online buyers online sellers but I feel quite good about this GG all right I'll be the end of the live stream thank you for coming